All right, uh, let's look at the homework 1.1, problem number seven. All right, so uh, on a, a freeway, uh, the maximum speed is uh, 65 miles per hour, and the minimum speed is 40 miles per hour. All right, then the fine is uh, $25 for every uh, mile per hour above the maximum uh, speed or below the minimum speed. All right. So we want to uh, come up with a function, um, a piecewise defined function uh, for this uh, fine, right? So uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, the fine is different if it's, uh, you know, uh, below 40. So uh, I'm going to just put uh, here, I'm going to put uh, 40, all right? And uh, between 40 and 65, so the 40 and uh, 65, and uh, there's no fine, so uh, a fine is going to be zero. So we know that uh, that's going to be zero. All right, then, of course, uh, anything above 65, you're speeding. So um, you're going to uh, you're gonna get a fine. All right, so um, let's look at, uh, actually, let's look at the speeding. Um, I think it's uh, pretty uh, simple. All right, so we have to look at, so X is the uh, actual speed. We have, uh, so I'm going to put parentheses. So x minus 65. So this is going to be the, um, uh, the a number of miles per hour above 65. And every mile, uh, you're going to have to pay $25. So multiply by 25, right? So that's going to be the uh, fine for speeding, right? And the fine for going too slow um, would be... So uh, 40 is the, um, the minimum speed, and then uh, you are going even below that, so x is going to be even smaller, so 40 minus x, so that's, that's how many miles uh, per hour below the uh, minimum speed, and uh, then you have to multiply by 25, right? So that will give you um, a piecewise defined function. Let's double check. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, uh, submit for testing and to see if it's correct. All right, uh, it came back and uh, looks like uh, we got the, the function, the definition correctly. All right, and we just need to find the correct picture. All right, so let, let's look for the uh, fun, uh, graph. Uh, it has zero, which means on the x-axis. Uh, between 40 and 65. All right, 40 and 65, so that looks good. All right, B is not going to be it. Uh, I don't know if this is B. Um, so the second one is not going to be good. And the 40 to 65, so this looks good. And the last one, uh, this is not good. So it's going to be between the very first one and the third one, All right? Then uh, we just have to kind of look at the way it starts. All right, so uh, when x equals 0, so here, x equals 0, 40 times two, uh, 25 would be 1,000. So uh, it's starting at the right uh, right place here. And look at this one. It's actually starting at, uh, you know, when x equals 0, uh, 875, all right? So if you're sitting on the highway, on the freeway, uh, this is going to be the fine you're going to have to pay. All right, so, but uh, here, 1,000, so this matches the description here, and this is the only one. So we click on that, All right? So let's uh, double check, submit for testing. All right, uh, it came back, and uh, let's see, it looks like we got uh, the graph correctly as well. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.